Namaskar, I am Pallavi and I welcome you to the bed of life. Let us look to the Holy Bible, 1 Kings chapter 12 verses 12 to 24. The main idea of the day is, Israel became two nations. So the king did not listen to the people, for it was a turn of affairs brought about by the Lord that he might fulfill his word, which the Lord spoke to Ahiza the Shilonite to Jeroboam the son of Nebat. And when the Israelite Israel saw that the king did not listen to them, the people answered the king, What portion do we have in David? We have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. To your tents, O Israel, look now to your own house, David. So Israel went to their tents. But Rehoboam reigned over the people of Israel who lived in the cities of Judah. Then King Rehoboam sent Adoram, who was taskmaster over the forced labor, and all Israel stoned him to death with stones. And King Rehoboam hurried to mount his chariot to flee to Jerusalem. So Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. And when all Israel heard that Jeroboam had returned, they sent and called him to the assembly and made him king over all Israel. There was none that followed the house of David, but the tribe of Judah only. Let's understand the word of God. Rehoboam abandoned the counsel of the old men and instead he listened to the words of the foolish young men. He told the people that he was going to force them to work harder. However, the Israelites did not tolerate the heavy burden anymore and turned their hearts away from Rehoboam. The ten tribes, excluding the tribe of Judah and Benjamin, gathered and made Jeroboam their king. And as a result, Israel was divided into northern Israel and southern Judah. One nation was divided into two nations because of the fullest decision made by of because of the fullest decision by Rehoboam, who did not listen to God and the people. May the Lord bless us with this word. Let's pray and practice. Dear God, thank you for your wonderful words. God, please help us to make right decisions according to your words. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.